I am Anil Kumar. Let me first thank all the subscribers and my viewers for taking keen interest in my videos, especially these ones which are on square root. As per your request, here is the number 36785. Whose square root you want me to find? Some are interested in finding square root of odd number, so I hope it satisfies all of them. So let's begin with this process of division. It's a very special division, so let me make a different kind of a bar this time. The number is 3, 6, 7, 8, 5, point zero, zero. So we begin by making groups. That is from the decimal you see left twice, right? So groups of twos. So three is left. That is the first step. Now, three could be divided by one, one times one. So whatever number we write in the divisor, we write the same number in the quotient also. So one times one is one, and then you take away as you do in normal division, right? So if I take away, I get two here, bring down 67, right? Now this step is kind of critical. Now here what we do is, we do twice this number so 1 times 2 is 2 and we have a number 267 which is fairly large so we can try with 9 9 times 9 will be 81 and 8 carry forward 9 times 2 18 plus 8 is 26 so we are very close so we can try 9 here 9 here so you have to write the same number in both the positions that is the key 9 times 9 is 81, 1, 8, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 plus 8 is 260, 26. And that gives you, when you take away uh, 7 minus 1, which is 6, bring down 85, bring down 85. <clears throat> now that is a very small number because it was very close. So you get an idea that what should be the next number how far were you from you know that is the key now again you'll do twice this number which is 19 so twice is 38 so let me write 38 here 20 double is 40 two less so 38 if I take two then it is going to be seven something so I can only take one so let me write one here and one there so that gives me 3, 8, 1. And let's take away 3, 8, 1 from 6, 8, 5. So 5 take away 1 is 4. We get 0 here and we get 3 here. And now we'll bring down the next two numbers which are zeros. So let me put a decimal since we have brought a number after the decimal. Numbers after decimal will be grouped in twos and going away from the decimal. So the idea here is so grouping of twos is you should group in twos away from decimal rights. That was also a question by one of the subscribers. That is how you, you start with the decimal. Both sides group in twos. Okay. So let's continue. Now this time when I divide I have to do first twice this number. Twice 1 is 2. 2 times 9 is 18. 8 and 1, 3. Now we know this is a very big number. So you can try numbers. So 3 and 30. So it's, uh, and there's an 8 number here. Let's try like 8. If I write 8 here and 8 there, 8 times 8 is 64. 6 comes over. 8 times 3 is 24 and 6 is 30 that too will be so 8 is close however it will give you a bigger number so 7 will be good enough let's write 7 here 7 times 7 is 49 7 times 2 is 14 and it was 49 14 so it gives you 18 8 1 7 times 8 is 56 and 1 is 57 5 7 times 3 is 21 and 5 26 right so that gives you 26 so now 
uh, you could take away. So when you take away from 10, you get 1, from 9, you get 1, and from 13, you get 3 plus 3 is 6. Oh, yeah, so because it was 3 here. So from 13, you get 6, this is 9, and from 9, you get 3. So there is some remainder. If you want, you can go the next step, but I think with one decimal place is okay. So we can now write down that square root of this number is what, right? So we can write down the answer that the square root of 36785.00 is equal to 191.7, right? Let's close in one decimal place and I hope you understand the process and uh, that reconfirms that this method works. Thanks for watching and taking interest. Feel free to post comments and if you like that would be great. Thank you and all the best.